Hello, my lovelies. This is Madam Crystal Butterfly with a vlog video. Why? Because it's been a minute since I've been doing the vlogging and I need to vlog. Just the other day, I learned that I need to change my relationship with Starbucks and ordering drinks. Now, this is not a conspiracy theory video about, oh, some secret way to order from Starbucks and other drink restaurants and like you have to order a specific way. No, this is just something I learned about myself recently and I found it interesting. So, why not share it and it might be something you may want to consider. So, I've been doing low sugar drinks for a while and by low sugar, I mean I just add one teaspoon of sugar to a drink if I make it for myself such as my teas and I mostly say such as my teas because I have gotten to the point where I don't put sugar in coffee at all I always take it black and it was just my way of getting more sugar out of my diet so I have not bought any coffee or tea from a restaurant for I would say for months now and I didn't really think that really affected my diet in any way since it's only been a couple of months since I bought anything sweet to drink. So when I was out and about running a quick errand before coming home to get started working on What It Bliss Again and before reading the blood contract, I didn't really think anything interesting would happen if I ordered a matcha tea from Starbucks. So I ordered a matcha tea from Starbucks, drank it on my way home, and there wasn't really any weird feeling or anything. The tea didn't taste bad, nothing. And so I drank it, went home, and then got on my computer, and I decided I was going to just go ahead and start reading the blood contract before I started working on my book. And I am barely in to three pages of the blood contract when I get overwhelmingly tired and end up falling asleep and the book is not boring it's an interesting book and that's all I'm going to say about it because I still got to reviews it but I was a little worried that I got that tired that quickly and when talking about it with my family my mother brought up how I have been low sugar low sugar low sugar for months and more than likely because I am not a diabetic but either way more than likely having that single matcha tea from Starbucks it probably had way more sugar than my body had been used to for a while and that is what caused me to fall asleep when I barely even got to work so from now on when it comes to Starbucks I'm going to start treating it like the bubble tea shops and tell them to not add any sugar to my drink and just handle it myself when I get home. But I did find that pretty interesting because I've never had that problem before but the second I took time to think about it too much sugar can make you tired especially when you cut it out of your diet quite a bit. And they add a lot of sugar in these restaurants to make you more dependent on the drink to stay awake and to let it be more addictive. So just something interesting. When you get your teas, you may want to have them tone down the sugar because you could be unknowingly getting too much sugar because you have to remember you're not making it. The restaurant is making it, so they make it to their standards, and their standard is get you addicted so you buy more. Anyway, my lovelies, that's just my vlog video for today. Be on the lookout for my upcoming review of The Blood Contract and my book, Wedded Bliss, which I will be making a vlog video giving you a few more details about the vampire cast system and the world of Wedded Bliss. Till next time, my lovelies, I hope you have a lovely day.